Sometimes when people are addressed with the concept of hospice, they immediately think that it's about giving up. But for us in hospice, we believe that it's about making a choice and it's about focusing on being comfortable and ensuring that the quality of life that you have left is the best possible. To qualify for hospice, you have to have a prognosis of six months or less survival, assuming the disease follows its normal course. When hospice came in, it was immediately, you know, people were there to help. People that are willing to talk to you about the dying process and so that you know what to expect, you know, and, and you know that what you're going through is normal. We're not withdrawing treatments, we're adding things in many cases, but the patients and the family's goals have changed from curing prolongation of life to having as much quality and comfortable time as possible. So it's really not about giving up. It's not about giving up treatment. It's about starting over at a different level of care where we're treating your symptoms. We're not trying to cure your disease, but we're trying to do the best that we can to make you comfortable and to meet not only your physical needs, but the emotional and the spiritual needs that you and your family may have. I'm often asked if we can take care of someone's patient and if they can be sent to hospice and there's no place to send them to. It's not a place. Whether they're at home or in a nursing home or an extended care facility or in a hospital, the hospice program and staff comes to them. You know, going to the doctor's office to try to get the right pain medication versus having somebody come to your house and tell you what pain medication you need or to be able to adjust the doses or to be able to deliver it to your house. I mean, those aren't always options that you have with a normal provider. I would say the first contact is our nurse or social worker who's going out to actually explain what we're gonna do for you, what are the benefits, what you can hope for, what you can expect. We have nurses, social workers, chaplains, home health aides, uh, physicians, uh, music and massage therapists, and our volunteers that actually sit together and work together with the patient and the family to develop what we call a plan of care. And that plan of care is established just to meet the patient's specific needs and wishes. I had no idea. Um, you know, I had known what to expect with chemo and radiation after we had been through it. But as far as, you know, how much pain, you know, is a person in when they can't communicate or, you know, knowing how to deal with that. I mean, you really have a nurse and a social worker and a million volunteers ready to help you understand what's going on. Sometimes it's difficult for family members to know when to call the physician or what to call about. And by having a hospice nurse there, that nurse coordinates that all for the family and they don't have to worry about when do I call or what do I call about. Hospice provides that specialty care. Uh, we know how to manage those symptoms and to promote comfort. We have many people that say, oh, if only I would have known the support that was available, I would have asked for hospice earlier. It's a, a very great process for the whole family. Um, you know, it gives you time to say goodbye and, you know, to say the things that you want to say. Um, I think that people should really consider it as a gift not only for their, their loved one, but for themselves as well. Frequently friends or colleagues will ask me, how can I stand doing this? It must be so depressing. And it's not, because I go to people's homes and the people that I go to see and their families, they're still interested in the weather and they're still watching the Cardinals game and they have paintings on the wall and they have photographs of their kids and we have things in common and we talk. There's always some common bond and I love my patients and I love seeing them. People are most afraid of dying alone and dying in pain. They're most afraid of not having their family understand what's happening to them. And they're afraid that what 
they're experiencing is something that their family won't be able to handle. With hospice, all of those fears go away because we're here to support you and to help you and to take your hand and walk you through this journey.